All right, all right. Thanks for being with me here, everybody, today. So we're doing a little crash course in crystals. Crash course in crystals. What is this? Crystals, they're rocks. Rocks from the ground that um, are used for therapy. Very interesting. This is a medicinal video on, on alternate medicines that are available that I don't think are talked about nearly, as no, uh, nearly enough. So these crystals, they're minerals that come from the ground, different parts of the world, and they're used uh, well first of all each rock each stone each crystal has you know a signature energy to it and it does something specific and when that signature energy enters your energetic field when you hold it in your hand or in your pocket you touch it against your skin it interacts with your body's own electrical field and certain rocks do different things evoke certain sensations to your electrical field depending on, you know, what stone it is. So as you can imagine, different stones evoke different feelings, and you can use these feelings in our lives to help enhance, to help soothe, alleviate, uh, strengthen, clean, relax, calm down your, you know, your body, your mood. They're, they affect your mood in a way. It's a feeling. Some people can't feel these rocks, and some people can, which I don't know the reason. I think it's sensitivity, developing one's sensitivity to uh, feelings, to uh, uh, electricity, or I don't know. It's, a, it's, it's peculiar, but, you know, this is a video for those that can feel these crystals. And so uh, I've assembled uh, a couple crystals that I think are very foundational. They're, they're very dramatic, and they do uh, obvious things to your body that can be used for different things in life, depending on what you need, like I said. Um, so I'll go into those and I'll show them to you. Uh, let's see. So the first one I'm going to show you is, let's do bloodstone. What is this? Is it cool? So it's, you can't quite see it here. This is a better one over here. I've got a bracelet I made. These, so bloodstone is a, is a very kind of dense, murky rock that when I hold it, bloodstone, it cleans my blood. I feel a nice warming sensation. So, you know, after I eat something and I feel kind of tired or lethargic, usually with, you know, fatty type foods or even sugars, it works for both. You know, I hold this and all of a sudden my, my blood, I guess, seems to tingle. I swear to God, this is the weirdest thing, but it does. And I, my mind gets sharper and it feels like my blood is being subtly burned and cleaned bloodstone bloodstone is great for you know uh, blood ailments um, detoxification especially anything that's cleaning is detoxification it gets rid of things that you don't want it gets rid of bad things detoxification bloodstone first one here second one is kind of the opposite but not really it's the same similar it's hematite there we go. It's a, a very shiny, cold, metallic-looking stone. I've got a bracelet I made here. Now, hematite, hema, hematite is blood as well. So just like bloodstone, this is kind of a cleaner as well. And for me, hematite cools my body. It's a very cold, metallic-type feeling that um, grounds me. It's very grounding. It, 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 it feels like it absorbs heat and electricity. So whenever I'm overheated, I hold this um, hematite and I get cooler. After a workout, uh, especially when your body is uh, charged with electricity, if you, put, it's, if you hold um, hematite, the, the electricity diminishes and you become more comfortable. It's like grounding. You know, when, you, when you're overheated, you sit on the earth, you become cold. You know, you're too hot, you want to get cold. Or you're too cold, you want to get hot. Well, this one is you're too hot and you want to cool down, you use hematite. And I found it, hematite is so good for sleeping. I sleep so well. So I guess I kind of overheat at night and I wake up so like dry mouth and hot and burnt out. And when I sleep though with hematite, you know, a bracelet, two of these on, I've got one on each hand, I wake up more refreshed. I really, and I've talked to other people that have the same effects, you know, you sleep better with hematite, try it. You know, I would, uh, you can get these stones, you know, go on, on eBay and you get like stones for a bracelet or Etsy.com, E-T-S-Y is a 
online craft store that vendors and collects all um, independent vendors that you you know you can buy and sell crafts on their online store. So uh, hematite here. Then we'll do let's see, citrine. Citrine is this yellow, cool citrine. It looks like you know citrus. Looks like a lemon. Oops. Citrine is is yellow. So yellow is for the solar plexus. Yellow is for the stomach. Citrine is like the sun. It looks like the sun. It's yellow. It's warm. Citrine. So whenever you're cold, put this in your pocket or a bracelet or anything, and if you're sensitive to crystals, you will get subtly warmer. It's really kind of cool. Uh, it's good for clarity. So again, anything warm is more or less cleaning. So you have, you know, bad food in your system. You've just ate something heavy and you feel tired or you had a lot of sugar and you feel sick in your stomach. These warm crystals like bloodstone and citrine here are good for cleaning. And within a little bit, you know, I feel a lot better. Um, of course, when you're too warm, you don't want to get too warm. So after a workout, you don't want to get hotter. So you don't want citrine or hot stones or bloodstone after you're too hot from a workout. You know, you want these stones when you're cold, when you want to balance out. Citrine has is, is just changed my life. I've been gone through a lot of stomach digestion issues in my past, and my goodness, citrine has saved my life. After a meal, I guess, you know, my diet's been poor in the, in, in, in the past and such like that, and the citrine has soothed and has cleaned my stomach. After a meal, I had, it, I had a, one on a necklace that would hang right over my stomach, just just below the rib cage, above the, the, the belly button, you know, the stomach. You know, if it feel, if your stomach feels full and bloated and you feel queasy, citrine will address your stomach and clean it up right there. It's amazing. I highly recommend citrine is your, you know, grab bag, your triage bag for emergency crystals, etc. So next one, um... Blue lace agate. It's a blue stone, pardon me. Very cool. Sky blue. Blue lace. And so we'll talk about blue stones. Blue stones are good for alleviation. Blue stones are good for soothing and they're blue. They're cold. They are look like water. They look like air. They're cooling. They're, they're not yellow, they're not red, they're not warming, they're blue, so they're cooling. And they're also for this part of the body right here, the, the throat chakra or, the, you know, this area right here. Blue lace agate, I can, I can feel it right now. It's so, um, it addresses my nervous system. Like, if I have any type of arthritis or, or you know, sore joints in the shoulders or after a workout or... You know, you just had a lot of sugar and your joints hurts. Uh, God, it's slowing down my mind, too. Blue stones are great for healing. They're cold, more or less. And they're good for any type of stress. You know, you're emotionally disturbed by something. Some traumatic event has got you shaken up and your emotions are shot. Or after a workout and you're stressed out and burnt out and you're just overwhelmed... Blue stones like this blue lace agate will just tranquilize you and slow you down and heal you. It's a great stone to, you know, I guess wear when you sleep. Mm, depending on who you are, I do well with, with hematite, but some people have a bracelet, they sleep with it on, and they wake up very refreshed. Uh, blue lace agate, what more can I say about it? Uh, my voice... My throat is clearer. I don't know. It, it, it's easier to speak. It does address this part of the body, the throat. But more, more importantly, it's so soothing. Sitting down and watching TV or, or just relaxing, and you hold that in your hand or you put that bracelet on, it's like being in a bubble bath. I swear to God. It's just like... Just tranquilizing. Anything, you, you need this. Just hold this stone. <laughs> then we'll talk about Chalcedony. Chalcedony. I don't know how to pronounce it. I like Chalcedony. That's a cool name. It's blue, very kind of glossy. Chalcedony's just come to me recently, but 
man, this is good for the stomach as well. Well, where citrine burns and cleans, chalcedony is blue, and it cools down. So it kind of helps the stomach too in a weird way. I guess you can hold both, but I found a lot of benefit for digestion with chalcedony in that it, it cools down. It cools down the stomach. You know, uh, if you're burning, you've had too much burning, your your anger, anger's in the stomach or spicy food or your, who knows, you know, chalcedony will cool you down big time in the stomach. Um, next one. Rose quartz, rose quartz, pink quartz, very lovely. I get just glaze I just how do I feel it's such a lovely stone I wear it and I just my interaction with people becomes more rosy I become I'm holding it right now I become lovable it's good for uh, relationships it's good for communication with people if you want to speak from your heart with somebody truthfully you hold rose quartz and you're very charisma you're very come from a loving place you know i've had it and you know you can't it's 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 easy to stay out of anger and aggression with somebody when you hold rose quartz there's such this diffusal diffuse uh that comes over over me i'm so hard to talk i'm just so kind of warm it's it's kind of a warm stone it's not blue it's not yellow it's a little warm you know um my creativity, I, I, it's playful. I feel very playful and fun and fun-loving. And, you know, I do a lot of creative writing. And I just enjoy writing great things or being creative. Probably doing videos like this while holding rose quartz. It just makes it more fun. It's just a joyful, giddy, playful, smiley stone, I feel. Childlike rose quartz. It's antidepressant. My goodness, I've I've have some friends I've prescribed this crystal to for for joy and antidepressants, and I've heard I've I get great results. A couple friends of mine said, "Yeah, it just picks my mood up. I'm not as crabby at work with people. Uh, just lovey and playful, and it's it's a very cool feeling from rose quartz. It's a pink stone, you know, rose." from the heart it's heart it's pink it addresses the heart love and tenderness and uh just you know uh peace and satisfaction rose quartz so then we'll get into this one this one's kind of cool selenite a white crystal i've got this in it's it's you can carve it and it's in this rod it's a this is you know it comes in all different sizes it's you know a rock but you can sculpt it and buy it in this rod that i have here and this is a very special stone too selenite is very cold selenites i think of celestial i think of angelic i think of i don't know celestial alleviation uh, tranquility. It's a very um, healing stone. You know, it's... Gosh, let me put it down. I can't think with it. It's just making me so tired in a way. It does kind of cool you down. It refreshes me. In the morning, I, I wake up dehydrated, like I said. And first thing I'll grab is selenite. And it's water. It's a water stone. It, it hydrates me. It refreshes me. It's cold. Uh, it sharpens my mind quite a bit because... Anything cold, you know, sharpens the brain and the brain becomes more articulate. See, for me, my brain gets slow when it gets burnt out and tired. But with cold stones like this, like selenite, it refreshes me. So don't put selenite in the water because it will dissolve, funnily enough. It is that close to water. I've had heart issues in the past, you know, deep pains in the stomach even uh, headaches as well and I'll put I've got different types of selenite I'll put selenite over the the parts of my body that are sore or, or burning and the cooling it's so it's like ice selenite's like ice it looks like ice puts out fire any anytime again you're overheating angry or you're exhausted or you need to refresh and clean selenite is a great stone for that um, man 
you know, f extreme fear. I've had situations where I have a, a necklace as well. I put it over my heart and selenite has totally tranquilized me. It's the ultimate healer. I really think selenite is the ultimate healer in terms of, you know, bringing us back into peace. You know, highly recommend selenite. And lastly, for this is the infamous blue necklace that you probably have all seen in every one of my videos. The blue necklace I wear is a mixture of all different types of blue crystals. And blue, again, is for alleviation. It makes my mind in my throat and my communication really sharp. Like when I wear this, my mind is, is quick and articulate and my vocabulary is great for videos like this and for my writing projects. These blue stones, I don't know, I won't, I won't go into detail, Larimars and stuff and Aventurines and Moonstones and there's some more blue lace agate. But my mind is quick with this on and I write really well and my vocabulary is sharp and my talking, like I'm doing, my talking is so uh, robust and fun and easy. And so any type of blue stones will make your nerves heal, heal the nerves and make you very quick when you're studying, when you're using your mind, when you're communicating with somebody, you know, diplomacy, any type of uh, sharpness, you want blue stones. And then conversely, red stones or yellow stones or orange stones are warming, motivating. When you feel lethargic, red stones like carnelian, which I don't have with me, but, you know, carnelian is very empowering carnal carnelian it's red it's for the base chakra it's it makes the legs strong it burns though you know i i can wear it too much and get burnt out you know and then there's you know citrines like i said are very warming too for cleaning up um so the best way i like to remember it any type of masculine stone hot stone red orange depending yellow is is, is a masculine cleaner you eat some junk food and you need cleaning you need the motivation, you feel cold and you feel tired and you want to be warm to get going in the morning. It's like a cup of coffee. You can use red stones and it's like a, a motivational clarity stone. Uh, you know, and then the blue stones conversely are cooling, they're feminine, they're watery, they're healing. They repair damage after lethargy, after exhaustion, after working out. You want to go, you want to heal up. You wear cold stones. You know, after workout, you don't want to wear more red stones. If you're cold, you don't want to put more blue stones on. You'll get even colder and slower and, and irritable and, and, and not inclined to, to, to take action. So these are therapies. A little crash course today. I'll probably go into more detail in some more videos on the use of these rocks in our daily lives. So there's another one. Some of them are good for um, EMF blockers or, um, you know, there's electricity coming off these devices that are disrupting to some people and some stones, there's, you know, like this one is um, fluorite, is good for blocking the stimulation. See, these electronics are very stimulating and they burn. And they make my mind slow. But anyway, there's stones that can counteract that. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. A little cool video today on, um, you know, medicinal stones for you guys to, to think about, to research and utilize if, if needs be. More to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Take Lastly, care. Lastly, wait a minute. I forgot one. I got to put this in. This is very important. I can't believe I forgot it. Well, maybe I forgot it for a reason. Um, black tourmaline. Black tourmaline, my goodness, I think probably the most important stone for very sensitive people, like myself, I guess. Black tourmaline, any black stone is very defensive. It's masculine. It's defensive. It creates boundaries. It cleans too. You know, any type of masculine stone will, will clean. Black tourmaline, whenever you are feeling very sensitive and connected and fragile and emotional and you're around people that you don't trust you're around people that are uh, emotionally volatile you know uh, or are angry or you're in arguments or someone's giving you crap at work and you feel vulnerable you feel taken advantage of man you wear this and there's this disconnect there's this boundary that's put up you know sometimes sensitive people like myself can feel other people's emotions and 
I think it's my emotion, but it's I'm picking up on their emotion, and I want to be me, but I'm around this person, and I'm like connected to them, and I don't want to be because our energies are blended. This will put the kibosh. It will put the the blockers down, and you are you, and they are they, and you are sharp, and you're defensive, and you feel inclined to be, uh, you know, powerful. You feel yourself. You feel protected. It's protection against bad energies too, against some. You know, uh, any type of, uh, I don't know, those people that are, that are sensitive to energies of different areas, um, you know, ghosts or even, or any type of, I don't know. Also, like, uh, certain foods, well, um, this is good for sugars. Sugar, I think, corrupts. Sugar is, um, gosh, it, Sugar is, is, is kind of poisonous in a way, and this is a cleaner of that. It's, it's, it's anti-evil. You know, any type of evilness, you're feeling evil invade you, attack you. Malevolent things or people with attitude or manipulation, black tourmaline will, will ground you, will keep you in you, will protect you. So, yeah, I wanted to include this real quick. Black tourmaline is very important as well. Cool, guys. Thanks for listening. Take care.